Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TCG World 2018. If you're watching on Twitch, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. Um, thank you so much for hitting like Kirby. And yeah, um, now we're moving on to Zora Glacian. Um, Glacian GX, a uh, Pokemon that got a lot of hype. It definitely didn't live up to its hype. Um, however, well, especially now with less Zora decks going around, although we have been playing pretty much exclusively against Zora um, in today's stream. Um, with less Zora going around, Glacian's power is diminished. And yeah, this definitely seems. This definitely loses to Tapu Pulu uh, Pika Bolt. Definitely loses to that um, to that deck. And so, um, so we have Glacian GX 200 HP ability freezing case. As long as uh, Glacian is active, your opponent's Pokemon GX and EX cannot use abilities, um, no matter where they are in the hand or in the discard pile. I guess from the deck they can. But is there any Pokemon that has an ability when it's in the deck? I don't think so, right? I generally don't think so. Um, but anyways, we have Frost Bullet, 90 damage to the active, 30 damage to the bench, um, which goes really well with its Polar Spear GX attack, dealing 50 damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So the, the correct placement of the 30 damage is actually very important. Metal Weakness, probably irrelevant, as there isn't um, too much metal present in the current meta. And whatever there is um, just seems to want to KO anything anyways. And the 2 Retreat Ghost is not ideal, but it is what it is. Um, we combine this with the Energy Evolution Eevee, of course, so we can get the turn 1 Glacian GX going very, very nicely. And then we have the 2-2 two, two Zorak line, so not a heavy Zorak line, um, just a little bit of support. Um, we also have 4 EVs, uh, 5 non EVs, and 4 float stones, so we're trying to um, increase our chances of starting EV and decrease our chances of starting anything else. Um, Zorak GX, of course, 210 HP, ability to trade, discard a card, and draw 2 more, and then Riot is bidding deals 20 damage for every Pokemon you have in play. Finally, we have 2 Mewtwo's uh, with Psychic Attack, it's a decent Pokemon um, that helps you deal better with um, Boswell GX uh, base decks. Although, as you can imagine, um, Lycanroc GX is a very annoying Pokemon to deal with. Um, finally, we have the one double LA for support, but we don't even have Richard in this deck, so it's not the main focus. Um, we are relying on a 4 Ultra Ball to Nest Ball engine to set us up in the beginning. We have 4 Sycamore 3 and 3 Guzman to Cynthia for draw support and uh, Pokemon Manipulation. We don't have the Puzzles of Time because we don't have the Quadruple Zorak line. Um, we do have, however, Aqua Patch for recovery, Energy Lodo to get better chances at hitting the DC, to get the turn 2 um, attack off or even the turn 1 water for the Eevee. Um, we have the Double Enhanced Hammer as well to disrupt our opponent, Double Field Lower to counter Guard Powder and um, triple choice band and four float stone for support along with the one um, rescue stretcher um, four dts and seven water round out the deck and so let's jump into the ladder and see how we can do with zorak glacian today let's hope we run into a lot of zorak um lucas i have no idea yet what deck i will be playing in brazil um, i could literally build every single competitive deck that's viable at the moment, but I have no clue what deck I am going to play yet. Um, and I probably won't have any idea until um, until Thursday night. So, and rank 26 Visloud, I have no idea what that means. No idea what that means. Okay. So... We are going to go second, so we won't be able to evolve into Glacian to stop a potential Bridget. However, uh, we do start Eevee, but our hand is just not good. Once again, we are draw supporter less. Um, and <laughs> 
Well, uh, yeah, we're up against Venusaur Shining Genesec, so a really, really, really bad matchup. It's a VTTV emote? Okay, so why is it not showing? So why is it not showing? Ah, okay. I prefer the... Um, I prefer the table mon emojis. Or the emotes rather. <laughs> That's a collection of the table mon emotes. Okay, so we get our extra card. Okay, so we're gonna get a turn to attack off. Um, seeing a Layla in front of us is not ideal. We see a floatstone. And we see a big sycamore. So losing wishful button and two energy, which is good. Um you wonder if they will release GX of the original evolutions? That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Okay, so my point is Tetroid, so... The fact that it's a bad matchup can be compensated by my opponent's bad luck. Um, I'm not benching anything else, because I don't want him to Kuzma stall me. Um, I do have the float zone, but it's just, it just creates unnecessary problems for now. Um, and yeah, we the only evolutions that don't have a GX are Flareon, Jolton, and uh, Vaporeon, right? Everything else has an evolution? Yeah, a GX evolution, so... Yeah, it would be cool if they release um, the others, but make them good, right? Okay. So energy drive already being very, very annoying. Um, definitely want to bench the EV here and then thankfully with another energy, uh, my opponent doesn't knock me out. He's 20 short and he can't attach choice man anymore. And he can't set up Venusaur to make the energy count double. Um, eh. Para ver los emotes. ¿Y qué extensión es esa? Okay, so my opponent just goes ahead and attacks me. That is fine. He went ahead and set up Remorade, so that does indicate that he has a um, Octillery in his hand. So I'm still gonna go ahead and focus on Shining Genesect. That is a much bigger threat, I feel. Um, the two prizes here will be nice, but are not helping us whatsoever. Well, at least my opponent can't end and just fully shuffle what we have. I mean, he can, but he's already used up two of them. It's already used up two of them. Okay, so there's a Sycamore. Loses two rare candy as well. So, struggling to set up here. Struggling to set up. Okay, hits an elixir. That's fine. Um, I feel like I definitely Guzman knock out the Octillery at this point. Wishful button on the active. Not relevant. Or if he only benches one Bulbasaur, we go after the Bulbasaur. Okay, hello Jose Trainer, thanks so much for being here. Okay, so definitely gonna bench Azurua, definitely gonna attach energy to the Eevee. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Field Blower these two guys, no reason not to. And then I'm gonna Kuzma the Artillery. It seems like the best Pokemon to KO in this situation to keep my opponent's draw um, checked if you will, and we get a knockout here with Frost Bullet, and it doesn't matter which Genesect we target, my opponent can just use the ability to move the energy to a brand new Genesect, um, so we definitely need at least one more attack to place 30 on this Genesect, and that way, um, hopefully this EV can, um, can take a knockout. Um, the fact that he promoted this Genesect means that my opponent will be uh, waiting a little bit, and we do get end, but that's fine, I feel. And Lucas, in my opinion, what will be the most used deck in Brazil? Um, I have no idea about the Brazilian meta. Um, however, I do know that um, that Bika Bulu and Buzzle Lycanroc are very popular over there, so I would expect a lot of that. 
Um, I would expect a lot of um, Lucario decks as well for some reason. Um, like Zora Lucario and just pure Lucario fighting. Um, yeah, like those would be the decks I would probably expect. Okay, but definitely anywhere between Pika Pulu and um, and Puzzle Like and Rock. Okay, so we have a chance to just GX knock out the Shining Genesect and therefore eliminate all the energy that my opponent has in play right now. So I feel like that's the right way to go here. Because we got an Ultra Ball for Lele. Well, assuming Lele is in there, right? The fact that we drew two draw supporters here is really bad. Yep. Lele for Kuzma. We do have the Floatstone and then Kuzma. We're gonna GX the Shining Genesect. We're gonna GX the Shining Genesect and hopefully, hopefully that will be game. Yeah, we can't knock it out with a regular Frost Bullet, but we can. We can use Polar Spear. <laughs> Brazil meta you think is very hot and tropical. Yeah, that is true. That is probably something you can expect for sure. Okay. So the Mew has free retreat. I'd be very surprised if my opponent has um, very candy Venusaur in his hand. Decides to attach to the Mew. And then uses Guzma onto a Lele that's fine. And we'll use Encounter, fair enough. To search for a Lele. So as long as we find an energy. No, a Fomantis, okay. A Fomantis. So my point is running Lorantis GX here. And there's a victory, yeah. Uh, we had Sycamore, which was pretty good. Um, Josh, you're getting tired of the snow in Chicago, <laughs> wish you could go to Brazil. Yeah, like, I personally, I've seen snow so few times in my life that I feel like I would be enjoying the snow. But I can see how if it's something that just happens every year and you have to shovel every, um, every winter and then we're already in spring and you're still getting snow, I can see how, how it can get annoying for sure. You can see how it gets annoying. Okay. Okay, Pini Pini with a Zorak deck. This is either Zorak Flagonrog or Zorak Lucario. And based on the coin, I would assume Zorak Lucario. So if we get the turn one Glacian, that should be good. It has been snowing since October. Wow, that must be very annoying for you. That must definitely be very annoying. Okay, I feel like our chances of turn one collision are very, very good here. So we might be a even able to stop the Bridget. And it actually is um, Lycanroc. It could be Lucario Lycanroc, right? Zoark Lucario Lycanroc. Could definitely be that. Okay, so I'm gonna use one Nest Ball for a Zerua. And then the other one will be um, another Eevee. And then we don't have a collision price, which is good because I just had to discard one of them. Um, we do have a DC price, which will diminish our chances of getting the turn to attack off. I will do this and then I'll play the energy Lodo looking for a water. That's good because we thin the deck a little bit and we could never have chosen the the DCE right there. So we get Glacian going on turn one, which is always a goal. Um, and then, ¿Crees que es bueno usar Bridget en lugar de Nestle en Glacian Zorak? Pues estoy usando Nestle aquí porque creo que si no tienes la energía para hacer el turno Glacian, el deck se vuelve mucho menos poderoso. And yeah, you are good here. We should be good here. Manchas, thank you so much for the bits. That's very, very kind of you. Jobro came through this month and then you and the White Snake coming through every stream. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you so, so much. And now you're, you're keeping the lead. 
by quite a bit right now. You have more than double than the white snake. Okay, so my opponent had natural Bridget from his hand. Um, Sudowoodo, I mean Mewtwo is definitely annoying. By seeing Sudowoodo and Mewtwo, I definitely do not expect Lucario. So the coin was just um, a deceit by my opponent. Um, we might not be able to afford um, to attack this turn, which is really sad. Yeah, it's not looking very likely. I don't think I want to Sycamore away all these resources. I will bench the EV. Do I have recovery? I don't think I have recovery actually. I actually don't think I have recovery in this deck. Uh, maybe... I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and Aqua Patch. And then... Um... Uh, New rule, single prize is now two prize. <laughs> if only it could work like that. Um, the Toronto is now, the Toronto Regional will have that um, weird rules tournament. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Oh, there was an update to the rules? Single prize as in, like if you draw an extra card, that's gonna be a two prize penalty now? Wow, that would be pretty impressive if it is. That would be pretty impressive. I've never gotten such a... Oh, okay. Thank you, Josh. I've never gotten such a penalty, but that's really harsh now. It's going to be really, really harsh. Multi-price penalty is now four prizes. That's two-thirds of the game. That's insane. Hello, Severino. Thanks so much for being here. Okay. The fact that my opponent committed the energy to the rock rough is really good for us. Um, he also parallel CDs, that's fine. We don't need a big bench. And we have the energy and we have the Guzma to be able to deal with the rock rough, which is essentially. Oh, and I can trade as well. Um, which is essentially the only real threat at the moment. Um, <laughs> hello all the way to Spain and hello all the way to Chile. Hola Kaiser, muchas gracias por estar aquí. Okay, so we get to Frost Bullet and I'm gonna place the 30 on the Zorua because that probably helps us in getting the knockout. Um, I could have placed the 30 on the Zorark, but I don't fancy my chances of getting a choice ban anytime soon. And yeah, felt like if my opponent promoted something to attack with, it would have been the Mewtwo. And was that my opponent's top deck? That's insane if it is. Rank, tú también eres de Chile. <laughs> Un gran saludo para todos los chilenos que están viendo. Okay, so there we see another Zerua. We're gonna see a Psychic for 80. So my opponent uh, next turn, even with a Choice Band, doesn't have Knockout. So he can't afford to wait a turn here. Um, I'm gonna discard the Mewtwo. That EV is just taking up bench space though, which is not ideal. Um, <laughs> no, los videos en español ya saben que regresan con la nueva expansión. Okay, so the Chase Band not really helping me. And it's iffy, because we don't know what my opponent has in their hand. Do they even need to Ultra Ball? Probably not. Okay. I can definitely Frost Bullet and just take another knockout here on the Zorua. That feels fine. And then next turn, my opponent will damage me with Mewtwo, and then I'll just retreat into the brand new Glacian. Um, and take a knockout on the Mewtwo, and then set up one of the Zorks to hopefully be knocked out. Hopefully. Um, the lack of a third Glacian could potentially hurt me though. The lack of a third Glacian could potentially hurt me. But no abilities really slows my opponent down, which is great. Um, with the hand we have, we do have, oh, we do have a stretcher. That's great. <laughs> I wasn't, I didn't remember if we had a stretcher or not. Okay. Is 
there's a rock rough there's an energy on the rock rough that's pretty scary and there we see the psychic so maybe there's merit to stick with attacking with this glacian actually um, I'm gonna risk the stretcher put back the glacian into my hand and then I'm gonna trade away the water because I have the aqua patch so triple glacian should just be more than enough to deal with whatever my opponent has at the moment um, aqua patch is great and then DCE, and then I take a knockout here. Um, Rockruff would need another energy for him to take a knockout. If I retreat, my opponent needs Lycanroc, energy choice band. So unlikely that he gets it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and retreat. And we're gonna Frost Bullet, and we are going to place the 30 damage onto the Rockruff to pressure it. That way, my opponent doesn't evolve, we just get that prize card immediately, which is great. And hello, Alan. <laughs> hello all the way to Brazil. I'll be I'll be in Brazil um, in four days, five days? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. In five days, I start flying to Brazil, and then in six days, I land in Brazil. So I'm really looking forward to going. I'm looking forward to eating a lot of Brazilian food. I really am. Okay, so we see a Kuzma. <laughs> we see a Kuzma. My opponent is going to take a knockout on the Glacian, which is fine. Um, because this will set up very nice. Set us up very nicely. We're gonna deal 90 times to Azor. Gonna take the Rock Ruff, bringing us down to two prizes. And afterwards, we already have the Kuzma to make sure that we can just um, immediately knock out. Um, we can immediately knock out the Zorg wherever it decides to go. So I'm even gonna do this, I'm even gonna do this, I'm even gonna do this just to play every single card from my hand. In case I get end, um, I increase my chances of just getting a Guzma. Y José, si el año pasado me vacuné contra la fiebre amarilla, eh, pero ni siquiera me pidieron la, la vacuna en, entrando, entonces. Eh, y si no vas al Amazonas y así, si vas a Sao Paulo, a la mera ciudad, pues no, no hay peligro de eso. Eh, pero ya tengo la vacuna. Eh, eh, Nitro, el Lycan Rock no servía a su habilidad. La habilidad de Lycan Rock no servía por, eh, por Glacian. Porque Glacian está activo, entonces no le servía. Eh, what do you think about price trades when Lele hitting Glacians? Um, yeah, it's like Lele hitting Glacian is definitely a big issue, of course. Um, uh, that's like one of the reasons why Glacian is potentially not very good, and also why the deck needs um, some sort of energy control like uh, Enhanced Hammer. So, yeah, pretty, pretty good game for um, Zorg. Glacian. Let's play one more match with the deck to keep showing off its potential. And Serino, I've played Puzzle Lycan Rock many times. Um, I believe just last week there was a video released on the channel um, that was the, an updated uh, Puzzle Lycan Rock deck. So it won't be happening today, uh, but I'll link you to the video if you wanna check it out. Um, Pilman, Puzzle, Lycan Rock. Yeah, I've done Puzzle Lycan Rock many, many times. Many, many times. Yeah, just last week I did. Um, I've actually done four different videos <laughs> of Puzzle Lycan Rock. Four different videos of Poison Lycan Rock. There it is. And yeah, Kirby, I did check out the list um, you sent out on Twitter. Um, I haven't had a chance to play with it yet, but I did check it out. And it looked pretty solid. It looked pretty solid. Um, what about Zoro Garde? Um, the same. Um, I'll link you to that. Zorg Gardevoir. If it wasn't last week, it was just two weeks ago. Um, yeah, last week. Just last week. 
here's the video as well. Like, anytime you want to search for a deck, especially lately, I've just been updating everything. Um, so if you're looking for any deck in specific, it's very likely that it's just immediately or that it's already on my channel within the last week or two. Um, and Doc Mix Sao Paulo is um, next weekend. Not this one, but the one after that. And... And yeah, the big issue would be Ho for sure. The big issue would be Ho for sure. Do I have a top three decks? Um, Buzzle Lycanroc, even though it hasn't been working for me that well lately, it's still a very powerful deck. Um, I also like Zoark Lycanroc quite a bit. And I like Buzzle Lucario as well. Um, Those would probably be my my choices at the moment. Okay, so my opponent says hello. Um, the Mewtwo will be very relevant, potentially. Uh, my opponent sending us hearts, that's very nice of him. <laughs> and then we're gonna discard the water and uh, I should have played the energy Lodo. That attachment was so silly. <laughs> should have played energy Lodo and then maybe I could have knocked out the Mew. Okay. Just gonna ultra ball for Lele here. <sighs> that was so silly. That was so, so silly. Um, Espen Garb, it's a pretty good deck. It's just um, a bit unreliable at times, I would say. Um, because of the no Pokemon draw engine. So that's something that's not appealing to me. Um, as you can see, oh my gosh, how can we... Okay, um... And then we just pass... We have Ultra Wolf for Zoark to potentially draw more cards. Um... <laughs> ¿Qué es eso, manchas? Pepe C, D, S, A... Bueno, sé que es A, L, B. Eso, por favor, no lo escribas. Um, how do you mute someone? Oh, there it is. There it is. Um, Lucario Lycanroc seems very strong. I don't like Primoet's version. I prefer... Um, I prefer Ross Cawthon's version, honestly. Um, okay, so my opponent decided to target down the AV, but I'm generally okay with that. Um, I definitely need to save my Zork here and... Do I trade away the choice band? No, I feel like I definitely need to attach the choice band to the Mewtwo. Um, what do you feel are the top three plays for Brazil? Um, Zorak Lycanroc is probably a very safe choice. Um, Buzzo Lycanroc as well. And then Bulu could be a decent deck um, if you hit the right matchups. Um, I guess I like Zorak Counter Energies as well. And then it's just less good if people expect it and what what was the other deck i said oh lucario puzzle i also like lucario puzzle okay so we see an elixir i assume my opponent has a uh supporter by now so yeah if i had led with a dc mewtwo instead of attaching that was a big mistake and no i don't like zoark elizabeth I definitely don't like Zoracles, but okay, and refreshes both of our hands. That's really nice. Uh, we have Kuzma and Energy, so if my opponent doesn't evolve into Lycanroc, I would generally, I generally wouldn't mind just Kuzmaing off the Rockruff, honestly. I feel like that's the best play here. I definitely feel like that's the best play for me at the moment. Um, I'm gonna trade away this. And no floatstone, but do I just knock out with Zork? No. I can knock out with Lele. Actually, knock out with Lele seems fine. And then I can also enhance Hammer away this thing. And yeah, things are looking pretty good here. Things are looking pretty good. Mewtwo coming through for us. Um, yeah, I definitely don't like Zoropod. It's just, it's too, I don't know, it's underwhelming for me. Um, 
Not considering myself, what are your top players for the event? Um, I'm a big fan of Igor Costa. I've always been a big fan of him. Um, Azul, uh, Tord of course, um, Sam Chen, Pramawat. I know Alex Hill is going. Um, he's been on a pretty hot streak lately. Um, I'm always rooting for the Schultz, um, especially Robin. Um, I think they're pretty cool. It's pretty cool that they're brothers and um, I think they're very, very tough opponents. And I've never played against the Schultz. Um, ben Pham is always doing well as well. So, and then more locally, um, the world champion will be there. Uh, Gustavo Wada will be there. Um, like all the, the three Brazilians that are above me in the rankings are of course pretty good. There's just gonna be a lot of top players at the event. A lot of top players. Okay. Okay, 30 and 30, that's completely fine. We have another knockout here. So yeah, I feel like my opponent would have definitely gained a lot more if he had knocked out Zorua instead of the Eevee. Um, do CP accumulated in regionals count toward the cap per quarter, or are they just extra bonus points? Yeah, they're just... So, the only thing that's capped per quarter are League Cups and League Challenges. Um, but League Cups override League Challenges. Uh, regionals and Internationals. That CP is completely free and extra. It doesn't matter when you add it to your total, it just keeps stacking and stacking and stacking. Um, that's why regionals are important if you want to qualify for worlds. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go grab the second Mewtwo. Like, we might not even attack with Glacian here. Zorark Mewtwo might be a good counter to <laughs> Puzzle Mike and Rock. Um, Energy Lodo, I'll grab the water. I mean, I guess I don't lose anything by evolving here, right? If my opponent benched this puzzle, I don't know why he committed an energy to that one, but I'm definitely not complaining. I'm just gonna get a knockout here. Um, and doesn't really do much. Field lower, that also doesn't do much. So I'm gonna trade the Ultra, because I can't even Ultra for another Lele. I don't have more Leles. Um, I'll burn the Nest Ball. And well, I guess I can set up another Zoark. He is actively targeting the Zoark quite a bit. And then I'll Aqua Patch. And then we shall just. Well, I, I guess I do gain something by just playing down my hand and getting access to more resources for next turn, namely Guzma as well. I might want to Guzma knock out Octillery at some point, or just this Buzzwell. And there's the other Zork, which is great. Um, you just started playing a few months ago, and you top aided your first two League Cups. That's pretty good. Uh, for only playing a few months ago, that's pretty good. Congrats. Um, and yeah, at this point, uh, depending on where you live, of course, I'm assuming you're from the US, d 4 Asian. Um, depending on where you live, um, it would either be very easy to get to Worlds, or very difficult. If you're in the US, it would definitely be very difficult. Um, just energy drive here for knockouts. So yeah, we have Mewtwo threatening Buzzle, we have Lele threatening whatever, we are ahead in prizes. My opponent promotes Rockruff. This probably means energy switch? No! Is the energy on Buzzle? Benching another Buzzle? That's okay. Um, oh, top 8 and then 1st place. Wow, that's even more impressive. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, what did you play? And you're from Canada. Okay, so... Yeah, I... I mean, are you going to Toronto Regionals? You would need an exceptional... No, not like... You would need an exceptional Toronto Regionals performance and then an exceptional North American International performance and then two more League Cups. Um, two more League Cup finishes. So yeah, at this point, it's probably um, probably out of the question, honestly, at this point. Okay, so we saw the Goose Mom opponent actively targeting the Zork, and now the Lele. Um, okay, so how do we take our two prizes? 
I think we do it this way. Uh, well, we need a we need a Kuzma force. With Kuzma, I feel like we can secure our last two prizes, so that's what I'm gonna be taking for. So again, Kuzma knock out this guy with Glacian and then place a 30 here. And then if that happens, um, if that happens, then the only threat that my opponent has is that. But that's just not gonna happen. That is just not gonna happen. So I should probably do this. Uh, I'll end. I'll floatstone this guy and I'll not end. Sorry, Cynthia. You're going to Toronto. That's pretty good. And yeah, um, like there's also merit. Oh, um, there's also merit to going to Nashville, even if you're not. Um, yeah, like dealing this damage forces my opponent to retreat this puzzle and deal with Eclation. Otherwise, I'm a good my away from winning the match. Um, I feel like there's. I don't know for sure, but I feel like there's gonna be a Nashville Open this season, so that could get you a good head start for next year Worlds. Like 2019 Worlds. You played Zora Garbodor with Bursting Balloons, that's pretty good. And then Volcanion for the one you won. And you had to face Greenwich and Gardevoir, wow. Yeah, that's pretty rough for sure. That is definitely pretty rough. Okay, so we saw Sigamore by my opponent. And he simply jet punches, so that is the game. No retreat here, we're gonna just take two prizes here, two prizes here. And that is the match. So yeah, uh, we played it like very slow, very casually. Um, my opponent's biggest mistake was um, targeting down the Eevee rather than the Zerua. Like sure, you understand that it's a Glacian deck, but without Zorark, it's just not gonna work very well. Um, so yeah, guys, um, that will be all for Zorark Glacian. Still a pretty decent choice, I guess. Um, not one of my top choices for Brazil, definitely. and. Not one of my top choices for after Forbidden Light, but I figured why not update the deck um, since it's been a while since we last used it. So, um, with this, if you're watching live on Twitch, don't go anywhere. I will be right back with um, I will be right back with Grand Ninja, um, which is always a decent choice and will probably be pretty good after Forbidden Light hits. And um, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. So don't go anywhere, guys. I will be right back. Just gotta get some water as well.